Hey y'all, uh, Donnie here. I, I, like the rest of you, got that email yesterday that said that uh, the Tour Creator app and Google Expeditions are, in a sense, going away this summer. They're, they're moving a lot of their content over to the Google Arts and Culture app, which is a really powerful tool. But kind of like a lot of other teachers out there, I'm a little sad because I love the Google Expeditions app, especially the fact that from my device, I could take my students on a virtual tour where I press a button, a 360 image pops in front of them that they can explore. I press the, the, the another button and then another 360 image pops up in front of them. And uh, that, that ability seems to be going away. So I started to think, uh, how could we recreate that experience for, for students? And uh, I, I realized that probably the best way to, to do that is through this app called Pear Deck. Now, a uh, few things. First, uh, just full disclosure, Pear Deck, it is a, it's a paid app. It's not something that is, is free, but there's a pretty strong chance that your district um, has invested in it. Uh, maybe you just missed that email that said, oh, we purchased this for you. Um, and second thing, you know, this is not a tutorial on how to use Pear Deck. Uh, it is super easy. I will be walking you through step by, by step. Um, but again, if you've never used Pear Deck before, um, I definitely recommend checking it out. Maybe some of those tutorials on, on YouTube. So anyway, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to recreate that uh, virtual experience for, for students using Pear Deck. Uh, here's how to do it. First thing you want to do is once you get your slideshow up, um, I'm going to go up here to where it says File. Gonna jump down to where it says page setup. And I'm gonna click on where it says custom. And instead of it being these dimensions, I'm actually gonna change it to five by eight. And I'm gonna press apply. Now you, you'll see why we, we did that once we, our tour is, is uh, ready to go and uh, our pretend students are following along. But that's first step where it kind of switches it from a landscape view into more of a portrait view on these slides. Next thing you want to do is on Google Maps, you want to go and find some of those 360 images that, are, that you want to take your students on. So this is one of my favorite places in the world. This is the top of Mount Washington in New Hampshire. And then if anybody's from Maine or New England, y'all can make fun of me for this, but uh, also Old Orchard Beach in Maine right? Two places that I want my students to see. Now, this could be anything. This could be the setting in a book. This could be a, a place that you're studying about in U.S. history. Um, but, you know, you can have multiple images here. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to your Pear Deck, click on the slide that you want to have the, the image, that 360 image connected to. Open up your Pear Deck. And then here on the, the right, uh, you're going to add a website. Now, when you do that, it's going to open up this screen. It's going to say, hey, paste the web address that you want here. And this is the part where you, you've got to change something to make it work because you can't just click and copy this link up here and paste it in. It won't work. Instead, what you have to do uh, is you click the three dots, click on share or embed image, then click on embed map, and then press copy H, or if there's anybody in England, HTML to your clipboard. Go to, uh, the, back to your Pear Deck, the, the slideshow that you're putting together, and then paste it here. And you'll notice when you paste it there, you get the sad, you know, the sad piece of paper saying, oh, this won't work. So what you need to do, and this is kind of a hack, but it works. Um, if you notice, it starts with this bit that says iframe, SRC, yada, yada, yada. Um, that's kind of unnecessary. So you delete everything before the part that says HTTPS and just delete that. And then, ooh, look at that. There's the image that I want. And press update slide. And that's going to add that interactive content to it. Well, we'll add another one of these just so you can kind of see how it works. I'll go to... Um, you know, the, the next slide with the location on it, I just type that in manually on the slide. Click on where it says website. It's going to pop up again looking for that link. Go to my other street view image. Press the three dots. 
go to share or embed image, click on embed a map, copy HTML, copy HTML right there, go over, paste it again. Oh no, sad paper. Oh wait, I forgot. I've got to delete everything before the HTTPS. Now to work. And I press update slide. Now, few things about what the student experience looks like when you um, put this tour together, right? Um, first off, in Google Expeditions, you know, you could um, put your device, if students had like a phone or a tablet, um, in like a Google Cardboard, you could get that VR view. Doesn't exactly work in this. Students can, if they're joining from their phone, um, they can actually move around and manipulate it, but it's not the full VR experience. Um, but what I like about doing it this way, since so many of us are teaching remotely this year, students can actually pull these up directly on their, their Chromebooks. So anyway, let's show you what the student experience looks like. Um, back behind here, I've got a, a window and this is logged into another account. So this window that's right here, this would be like a, a student Chromebook. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to press start lesson. Right? I'm pretending that this is the teacher. Back here, this is what the students see. I'm going to make it where it's an instructor paced activity. I'm going to say starting your presentation. It's going to give me that little join code there. And a, a fun little pro tip, by the way, if you're going to try using um, Pear Decks, if you're teaching remotely, you're teaching over Google Meet or Zoom, uh, rather than uh, having the students just type in the join code. It's a whole lot easier to just press give students a link, go to, and then paste that link into Google Meet, into the chat, and just have the kids click it. All right. So got that, you know, the students joining behind the scenes, tells me that students joined, so I'm just going to press start class, right? Now, remember, the way that Pear Deck works, what's on my end, is what they see. Oh, sorry, I'm feeling happy today. So what's on my end is what they see, right? And remember, on the second and third slide, I've embedded that 360 image. So when I press next on the teacher end, when I jump over to the student experience here, there is my slide, and remember, I, I there's remember I said to frame it where it's more vertical instead of horizontal. It's because it fills in that whole box. But this 360 image right here, this isn't like a flat, stagnant image. This is one that the students can click around on and explore. And then when I go to the next slide, boop, it changes on the student end too. So that's it. I mean, there's so many things you could do with this. On the slide, you could put some questions on there that you'd want the students to answer. Um, you could have them do a writing activity that goes along with it. Uh, again, we are just kind of scratching the surface with this. Obviously, I know a lot of you are really familiar with, with Pear Deck. You know the different types of questions that you could ask. So definitely check it out um, and have fun. <laughs>